everyone, I'm Carl Dombrowski, CEO of WeBots, writer at Medium. My article has been featured in Tor Data Science and the Startup, the largest entrepreneurship publication followed by more than 291,182 uh, on Medium. So thanks for that. Thank you, Medium as well. You're great. So first, I want to thank you all who are watching this introduction video to a series of video, which is going to be called The Power of Natural Language Processing with Dial of Flow. So the artificial intelligence business is still pretty young, but there's already a lot of big brands such as Apple and Airbnb who are getting more and more interested by this technology. This is a real revolution right now with the blockchain technology, the Internet of Things, and of course, with artificial intelligence. These three components are part of what we call the Web 3.0. So who is this class for? Well, for anybody interested in building AI solution, business owner want to be able to replace a portion of their daily repetitive task by an intelligent app that would allow them to focus on the value added portion of their business. So the objective of this class is to be able to create your first style full agent and to understand what is natural language processing. Why is it so powerful and how you can use it to convince your clients, your business partners or your boss that it is now time to evaluate what AI and NLP can do for your business. So what you'll need for this class is, uh, is of course a data flow account if you don't have one right now, don't worry. For the first portion of this class, you won't need it. And I'll tell you when you should get one. You'll need a Facebook for developer account as well. And finally, a Lucid chart account. Uh, so we're going to be building flow charts of interaction with your agent. So the, the, the Lucid chart account will be good for you in order to do that. And of course, you'll need a bit of dedication. And you can do this class in se several days or weeks, but if you don't take the time to do the exercises, you won't be able to create a great NLP dial flow agent. At the end of this class, I hope you should be able to create your first NLP AI intelligent application that can recognize human intention uh, with entities and how they try to communicate with your agent. And of course, you'll be able to train your agent to become smarter through machine learning. So what we won't cover in this class, well, we won't cover any material for the basic bot building uh, platform such as uh, Minichat and ChatFuel. And we won't cover some of the dialogue flow features since uh, my methodology, sorry for that, is not traditional, but is much more effective. So why I created this class, I was looking for a good NLP class with Dialogflow and could not find any. So I learned it the hard way and now it's time for me to share my knowledge with you. I was getting pissed because honestly out there, um, the, the, the material for Dialogflow and API.ar are most of them updated from at least a year or a year and a half. Uh, Google's been great with the community. Uh, but I think that uh, we need to have more uh, to video tutorials in order to help the community to build uh, application with Dialogflow. And that's why I created and I'm creating this class for you guys. So first, what is natural language processing? Uh, here's a definition that I, I think it's from Google, but I'm not sure. So NLP is a framework that allows to create artificial intelligence solutions, which are able to recognize a human intent by processing text messages or voice messages. But before we start coding, before <clears throat> we go into the fun stuff, you'll need to learn some grammar because grammar and natural language processing goes and by N. In order to recognize the intent uh, and to create entities, you need a bit of grammar, but stay there. It won't be too long as the first part of the class, and then we can have uh, everything which is fun and the coding part of it. So even if you have the power of the dark side, no, you'll need to first 
uh, learn what is grammar and make some exercise in order to do so. Uh, but I hope that uh, with that, you're going to be a much, much better coder at AI. So speaking about grammar, here's a few websites I use whenever I want to make sure I have the correct way of spelling or making my agent to be able to recognize slang words or to translate an English expression to my native language, which is French. I am from Quebec, which is in Canada. Uh, the native language is French. So uh, this is important to all of the non-English native people that are watching this video class right now. So what is Dialflow? Well, as its simplest form, it's a language processing platform which extracts a user intention in the given context. Woo! But that is way too much complicated, so let's make this more user-friendly. Okay, so Dialflow is like a McDonald cashier who take your order and send your order to the kitchen because you want a Coca-Cola, some French fries. Speaking about French fries, sorry for the American watching this video. They're not called Freedom Fry. That's a big no-no. They are French fries, end of, it, end of it, end of the case. So this chart show you the map between the user input in Dialogflow to the agent response at the end of the process. Don't worry about the fulfillment portion for now. I'll get you in another video. So, in this class, we will le learn to build a restaurant NLP agent because Andrew Demeter and other bot teacher use the same user case uh, for people. And people are familiar with the restaurant user case, at least the bot coders that I know. And restaurants are complex because the AI to understand need to understand a lot of different type of entities and intent in order to uh, come with the uh, response that is the one that you want to have for your bot. So we have a lot of interaction in the restaurant with client and restaurant clients have various needs such as, can I get the menu or can you bring me two glasses of water, please? When will my order be ready? I change my mind, can I order a Caesar salad instead of French fry? These are all um, example of, of stuff we're gonna cover uh, with the natural language processing with Dialogflow, how we can manage to make the agent understand complex intent, fuzzy intent, which means uh, something which is not clearly um, made clear by the user trying to communicate with the agent. And before that, you'll need to know what are the key components of uh, the uh, of dialogue flow. So what are entities? What are intents? How can we create entities? How do we create intents effectively? And how do you train your dialogue flow agent? By the way, naming your agent, it probably is something which is like, most of you are like, yeah, I know about it, but I'm sure there's one people out there that don't, don't know about it. So, Whatever you name the agent, please do not put any space in between uh, the word like this one. My agent name should not be my agent name, should be in one word. So what are entities? Well, entities are a powerful tool to extract a user intent from his natural language input. And there's mainly two types of entities. There's the developer entities that you're gonna develop by yourself, and there's the system entities. So first, an example of restaurant developer entities for pizza, well, you could have the type of pizza like Aldress, pepperoni pizza for the crust, thick, uh, thin, traditional, topping, mushrooms, shrooms, bacon, pepperoni, sauces, tomato sauce, Alfredo sauce, and all type of buns of cheeses like mozzarella, cheddar cheese, and Monterey Jack cheese. With the system entities, which are provided by Dialogflow and Google, so thank you for that, you get a bunch of information and entities that are provided that you don't need to code them first, like number, number one, 
flight numbers, measurement unit, kilogram, liters, kilometer per hour, website address, street address, music, like name of band, like 21 Pilots or Marshmallow. So before um, building any entity, please check out the system entities that are already available by Dogflow. And you can find it in the reference, it's the first link, reference system entities there. If you go there, you're gonna have a bunch of system entities, but you can also check the other links for rich messages, context fulfillment, uh, getting started, but you don't need to uh, do, that, do this right now. We're gonna go through all of it in the class, and I hope you're gonna enjoy the class that we're gonna build with you. So in the next, few slides in the next part, we're going to explore more in deep uh, some grammars and the intent, the context and entities. And then in part, part three, we'll start to uh, do the, the code and to have the, the restaurant example coded. So I hope you like this little uh, introduction video, guys. Please subscribe to my channel in order to get uh, notified for part two, three, four, five, etc. of this series, which is called uh, the power of NLP with Dialogflow. Thank you, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.